Hello everyone and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host Richard Tiemann and this is your Game of the Week preview for week number 7 of the 2021 season. We have a great matchup picked out for you this week, but first let's take a look back at the matchups. That's right, plural, both matchups that we had in week 6, including the Game of the Week. First, there was the Dodge City Law taking on the Wichita Force came down to the final minutes of that one as Dodge City gets the win 43-34, improving to 2-1. and one. And then your Game of the Week Sunday afternoon, round two of the I-29 rivalry in Sioux City. It was the Omaha Beef that outlasted the Bandits with 30 seconds left, 41 41- to 37. Wow, these two were instant classics and one possibly the game of the year. So now we look ahead to week number seven. There are all six teams in action, but only one can be the game of the week. And we have picked the Salina Liberty fresh off their bye, taking on the Dodge City Law in another rivalry renewed. Salina is sitting at 5-0 as the lone undefeated team of the Champions Indoor Football League. And Dodge City coming off of that tough road win against Wichita. Their two wins have both been on the road. One loss has been at home, but they look to host the undefeated and put one in the loss column for them for the first time this season. So I welcome from the Salina Liberty wide receiver and reigning player of the week, Ed Smith, and from Dodge City, I welcome linebacker and defensive lineman Jaden Dobbs. So let's go ahead and preview the Week 7 Game of the Week. All right, fans, it's time now for the Week 7 Game of the Week preview. Joining me first, representing the away team, he is one of the recipients of Player of the Week for the offense. It is fast, Ed Smith, for Salina Liberty. How you doing, man? Pretty good, man. Can't complain. How you doing? Doing great. You hail from Fort Hayes State University. You guys are off to 5-0 start. How would you say your football career has gone after taking a year off? I mean, after a year, it's been been tough, the year off, you know, just working out, you know, kind of playing flag football, staying in shape. But I'm just happy we're playing football now, you know. That's all I can be thankful for, you know. Absolutely. I'm glad that you get it. I think a lot of you guys do. You know, it's crazy. The The saying is you don't know what you've got till it's gone. But I don't think anybody ever expected that to be like everyday activities, sports of all things. And then right. it, was. it was definitely tough. So you guys are just coming off of a bye week. Did you have almost like flashbacks of, you know, you guys are 5-0, and you guys are cruising through the league, and now all of a sudden you take a break and you're like, wait, we're going to come back and, and play more, right? Like we're not getting canceled again, are we? Yeah, no, nah, we we, we kind of just took this by week to, you know, get 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 our minds right, you know, get healthy and really prepare for Dodge City, to be honest. You know, that's what we were doing the most. Yeah, Dodge City, they're 2-1. and one. Their two wins have come on the road, and they've really overcome a lot of adversity this season because they had to make that pivot from Oklahoma to Dodge City. So really, every game is almost a road game for them. But they get to host this one against you guys. And I got to say, you know, I've met Coach Haran O'Neill in person once, but talked to him on several occasions uh, during this season. And he really just seems to get it. So I know that your guys' bye week, he probably had some great kind of plan to make sure that you guys were staying focused and ready, but also taking some time to really kind of enjoy yourselves because, in all honesty, you guys have really earned it. I mean, Coach. Coach O basically he he keeps us he keeps us intact he keeps us on 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 point makes us makes us fo- keeps us focused you know during during the bye week it was more so you know get your mind right you know you coming back you know you got a big game and take care of business that's that's basically our motto take care of business. Yeah, and for you guys, your team has had a phenomenal offense. You're part of that. I mean, you had over 100, I think, 14 yards receiving, three touchdowns. That's how you got the Offensive Player of the Week nod. And uh, I watched the film on that. Great performance. Your guys' quarterback, Tyree Adams, early in the season, he's already got two of those under his belt. But then the rest of you guys... Really, you know, every aspect of that offense, the run game, the pass game, and then Tyree being able to make plays with his feet if he needs to. I don't think there's been a defense that's really challenged you, and we thought maybe we'd see that from Sioux City. Uh, take me back through that game, because that was a really te- a real test for both of you guys. Like, how did you approach a tough defense like that? We just we just run what's called, to be honest. We just, we, we believe in what Coach O and Coach Martinez draws up, and 
we just go out there and try to execute. No matter who we playing, we could be playing anybody. We just trying to go out there to win. That's the main goal. Uh, do you feel as if you guys have lost uh, any momentum by taking a week off after starting out undefeated? No, not at all. Not at all. I feel like I feel like if anything, we just hitting our peak. I feel like we still got a lot in the tank. We just got to take it one game at a time and, you know, build off that. So how good are you guys when everything is firing on all cylinders, offense, defense, special teams? I couldn't tell you because we, we haven't done it yet. <laughs> so I, I'm, sure, I'm sure you would know when we do it. You will see it. Oh, yeah. When I put together the top 10 highlights, trust me, Salina is the first one on my list. I'm like, all right, so there's 10 that make the cut. They're going to have probably seven. And I can't have it all be Salina, so I, I got to really pick and choose. You guys have had some really great plays, including the number one from last week, your quarterback making that play, a couple of spin moves and a hurdle. Man, I mean, you guys are dangerous. Got to salute the quarterback, the whole team, offensive line, quarterback, running backs, everybody, man. We just we just coming together right now. It's halfway point. We just we, – we, we come – well, at 5-0, and you guys are sitting pretty, like I said, and, uh, of course, you don't want a loss. You guys want to keep the ball rolling. You're going to be fresh, and you're going to go up against a tough opponent on the road. So, last question, of course, what do you need to do to get the W against the law? Just execute. That's all. All we have to do is go out there and execute what's called, and nine times out of ten, we'll get the job done. As long as everybody playing 110% every snap, we'll make it happen. All right. Well, hey, Ed, I appreciate your time, really. And I, uh, I th- have been very impressed with you guys this season and look forward to watching the rest of your guys' games. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. He is Fast Ed Smith of the Salina Liberty, undefeated, looking to continue it on the road in Dodge City against the law. You take care. Yes, sir. All right, fans, next up, representing the home team, he is a linebacker from University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. Please welcome Jaden Dobbs. How you doing, Jaden? Doing great. Excellent. And, uh, you know, you guys, uh, two and one, and you're going into a tough matchup hosting an undefeated Salina Liberty coming off of a bye week. Um, your guys' two wins have been on the road, and now this one will be uh, the host team. Uh, what are your feelings, you know, about this going up against a tough opponent? Uh, well, no secret about it. Salina's, I mean, they're a great team. They're super well coached, got a lot of veteran players, and uh, their staff does a good job of getting some rookie role players to um, help them out. So I think it's going to be just a great test to see where we're at, really, because, I mean, we're all, – all the teams in this league were so um, young in the schedule still. So this will be a great test to see where we're at. Your guys' this season got a little bit of a late start, so you guys are still kind of just finding your identity, and that really starts with um, – you know, the offense, but on the defense, you guys uh, always kind of mesh a little faster um, coming out the gate. How do you feel the defense has done so far this season? Yeah, I mean, I think it's the nature of the defense. And uh, it's just, you know, alignment and assignment and just playing with your hair on fire, really. And I think collectively, all eight of us have just an attitude of, of that, of just playing balls to the wall, full out every snap and just understanding what you're doing and absolutely and you guys have a great coach and coach davis there who um you know you guys have been through some adversity to say the very least but he remains positive and i think he's a great football mind and obviously you know you're playing for him and you guys uh, have a chance to put one the first one in the loss column for salina so how has um his mood and everything been this week going into this matchup i mean we're looking at it as huge opportunity I mean, our, you pointed out the schedule before. Their schedule has been pretty difficult to start off, and they've been relentless. But, uh, you know, our schedule has allowed us an opportunity to just kind of get ramped up to where I feel like now we're at our peak in the uh, start of our schedule that we're going we're gonna, to uh, have a great game this Mother's Day. At this level of football, you really have to, you know, you don't have to look hard, but you do have to kind of find the extra things to motivate you beyond just wins and losses. And I think for you guys, you have plenty to be motivated about as far as people that maybe wrote you off because you're a team that doesn't really have a home right now that's had to come uh, overcome a lot of adversity. And uh, now you guys are 2-1, and one, hoping to make it 3-1 and one and give Salina its first loss. Is that something as a competitor, the competitive edge 
in you, you see that as a, a challenge and one that you've accepted for this season? Oh, hundred percent. I mean, that's, that's the reason why you still play. I mean, post-college, you got a decision, either you're going to try to pursue some level of professional football or you're done playing. If you didn't have that desire instilled in you, then you, you wouldn't be wearing a Dodge City Law uniform. Absolutely. So uh, you mentioned, you know, the desire to play football, but of course, you know, for a lot of you guys, uh, some careers can be shorter than others. Have you given any thought to life beyond football and what you might end up doing? I took the plunge and I, I moved here to Enid. Uh, and actually, I took a teaching position. I, I live a block away from it now, uh, but I'm a, a middle school physical education teacher. And then I'm also an athletic coordinator of, of our Waller Middle School here in town. So I guess I, you know, I, I took the dive here to, to continue both, both careers and get the best of both worlds. But, so, uh, well, congrats on the, uh, the gig and thinking about life beyond football. I'm sure the kids love having a professional athlete, especially a linebacker as their, uh, you know, physical education teacher. Yeah. You think it'd help with your credibility a little bit, but they're still middle schoolers at the end of the day. <laughs> that, yes, that is a very true statement. At the end of the day, they are still middle schoolers. Well, hey, Jaden, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Game of the Week preview. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. One more time, folks. He is Jaden Dobbs, linebacker for the Dodge City Law. They will host the Salina Liberty. Somebody's got to win. And will it be the law to put the first one in the loss column for Salina? You'll have to tune in Sunday and find out. Hey, you take care and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. You too. And one more big thank you to Ed Smith and Jaden Dobbs for being my guests on this Inside the CIF Game of the Week preview. Don't forget, if you cannot attend the game yourself, you can watch it live on the CIF Network YouTube channel. Kickoff is at 3 p.m., and that game again is Sunday, May 9th. The other two games, though, as all six teams are in action this week, will be Saturday, May 8th. Both are at 7 and 7.05 p.m. 7.05 7.05 will feature the Sioux City Bandits taking on the Wichita Force, and 7 o'clock will be the Omaha Beef taking on the Wyoming Mustangs for the first time. So best of luck to all the players and teams. This week's going to be a great one. Who will be the game of the week next time? Well, you'll just have to tune in and find out. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF. Yeah.